Hello gorgeous ladies, it was requested for me to do a video on some dresses I'd suggest for the different body shapes as well as some fall outfits. So I decided to combine both requests into one video where I would create three fall appropriate looks centered around dresses and explain why each of the three dresses would be suitable for your body shape based on the way that the dress is shaped and the way I styled it. So let's get started with the first look and dress. Okay, so let's focus in on the dress itself first and then I will address the entire look. So first, this dress is great for all body shapes since it's a fit and flare style dress with an A-line skirt. When a dress has an A-line skirt or bottom, it won't cling to the hip area which is great if you're a pair like me or an hourglass. If you have wider hips, you don't want to go with dresses that are going to add any extra volume and make your hips appear that much more wider because then you're giving the appearance of an more exaggerated unequally proportioned frame now by adding a waist belt I'm reestablishing my waistline which is extremely important if you're a rectangular shape because um, you know when you're rectangular you don't have any curves and you just can appear like you just straight up and down so when you cinch in your waistline or cinch in the fabric of the dress it's going to kind of give the appearance or the illusion of some curves so as you can see here the dress comes with a natural cinched in effect but by exaggerating it more I chose to add a waist belt um, that is a little bit thicker in appearance. Now, typically with fit and flare style dresses, they tend to be around knee length or a little bit shorter. Now, it all depends on what you feel comfortable with, but when you're in apple shape, you tend to have thinner legs in comparison to your midsection. So I always suggest going with something that's going to show a little bit of leg, of course, not being so provocative, but showing legs um, so that it, you know, you're bringing the eye to your best asset and your best features. So um, that's also why this dress also works. And of course, because you are using a waist belt, and that's going to kind of minimize um, your midsection. Now, I would suggest that you don't place the waist belt on the widest part of your stomach. You can place it a little bit higher. Um, that way that the eye is not, you know, creating an enlarged stomach area because when you place a waist belt on top of your largest part of your stomach, it's only giving the appearance of a stretched out effect. So the reason why I chose to work with a black dress for the first look is because I feel that every single woman should own a black dress, let alone a fit and flare style dress because as I just mentioned, fit and flare dresses are extremely flattering to the different body shapes and because it's a black dress, it's versatile and it's suitable for every occasion and can be dressed up and dressed down. So I decided to pair it with a leopard print blazer because since it's black, I wanted to add some interest to the look. If you don't have a printed blazer, you can go with a solid colored blazer as long as it's adding uh, contrast and you're not going with just black up and down. I also liked to add the burgundy clutch because I love the way burgundy looks up against uh, leopard print. I think it's a very um, chic look and because it has um, the gold uh, hardware on it, I, th I felt that it worked really well with the look. And I'm going with some black pointed toe shoes as you can see because if you watched my video on choosing the best shoes for your body shape, you know that I did mention that pointed toe shoes are extremely flattering to a pear shape so you can definitely use my video on the different types of shoes for your body shape and style the shoe according to your shape so that you can complete the look that's suitable for you so let's move on to the second look Okay, so this second dress is known as the potato sack dress and it has a bit of a bad reputation as being unflattering, but I feel it all depends on the color of the dress, the style, and just the fabric itself. I love this dress for all the body shapes because it has that natural cinched in effect that is very dramatic and you can, of course, add a waist belt if you like, but it's not necessary when working with this type of dress because it's so dramatically cinched in. Now, if you are a pair, I definitely suggest this dress because it adds volume as you can see to the upper portion of your body and skims the surface of your hips so it's not making your hips look that much wider but it's adding volume to your upper body which of course you lack naturally. If you are a rectangular shape, it's of course cinching in your midsection, creating the appearance of some curves, adding volume to your upper body, so it's giving you the appearance of those curves that you naturally lack. If you are an apple shape, it's going to conceal the widest part of your stomach because it's cinching in over and the fabric is folding over which can conceal your larger stomach. And of course if you're hourglass, you are naturally proportioned and you have that natural cinched in uh, waistline, so it's really not exaggerating any parts of your body, which is very, very important when working with any outfit, especially a dress. 
chose to work with this wool flappy hat because it tied into the color scheme of the dress and I felt it was a nice touch in addition and it gave some chicness and some fabulousness darling and I chose to work with the same clutch that I did with the first look but I just took out the strap which is a gold chain strap and I felt like it just again added some chicness to the look and some gold bangles because this dress has like some bits of like a goldish undertone to it because of the color of the green. And I chose to pair it with knee-high brown boots, which I'm so sorry, guys, that you cannot see the complete boot. I don't know what happened, but um, you'll see it in the photo. In fact, I'll insert a picture here so you'll be able to see the complete boot. So sorry about that, guys, but I felt that it completed the entire look. So for this third and final look, I decided to work with a houndstooth printed dress because as I did mention in last week's video, houndstooth is a huge trend for this fall season. But of course, if you don't have a dress that's houndstooth, I just wanted to discuss dresses that come with a belt that cannot be removed and I know it can be super annoying, but I decided that I liked the way I came up with a way of knotting it. So I didn't just knot it in a bow, I just knotted it like this and then I folded it through, tucked it in to the back and I just liked the way it had like the knotting detailing especially since this dress has like leather piping I just like the hints of the leather piping in the back showing through and on the sides now for the dress let me get my clutch <laughs> now for the dress um, I love how it has the piping down the center which if you are wide if you have an apple shape it's going to narrow you down since the piping is uh, strategically placed uh, within a certain width of each other so it's not going to make your midsection look that much wider. I highly suggest dresses that have piping or some sort of detailing down the center of the bust like this dress on both sides especially when it's added with a waist belt because as you can see where the center part uh, in between those two piping effects my stomach area looks very narrow and this is great especially if you are an apple shape and your stomach area is a little bit wider or even if you're rectangular and it's just straight up and down when you're adding the waist belt it's going to um, cause a dramatic effect with the piping and cause it to kind of cinch in and become visually uneven even, which is going to give the appearance of a more narrow, curved in waistline. To complete the overall look, I decided to add hints of red because I personally love the way red looks with houndstooth. So I went with a red lip, a necklace that had some red bead detailing, and a red clutch that had some gray studding detailing going on that would tie in with the edginess of the black opaque tights as well as the ankle boots. So thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your days to watch my video and don't forget to support by subscribing, liking and commenting down below on what you thought about the video if it was helpful to you and any other requests that you'd like to see for upcoming videos because I do make note and I do record your requests. So in the meantime you can interact with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those sources I have it and don't forget to of course check out my fashion blog JaleesasFashionFiles.com and I will see you guys in next week's video.